everybody and welcome back to our channel two brothers outdoors this pine right here we have a three inch thick slab from the center of it sold going to be a bar top so that will be the next victim on the mill after we cut up this crooked cherry with the crotch that's going to go into one inch slabs and go in the box and your sawyer today will be tim on Fort Hudson's 330 Pro. And of course, we don't want to forget about Tilly over there. Hi, Tilly. All right, so this video is going to be pretty straightforward. Not. Look how crooked that log is. That log hasn't got a square inch in it that's straight. It's going to be interesting to saw this one up, guys. Yes, sir. Tim is the Sawyer in charge. I told him, go ahead and saw it up. If you make a mistake, don't worry about it, because the log's already messed up. I'm not going to make no mistake. Make no mistake about it. All right. Somehow Tilly forgot this one. Why are you throwing shit in my yard? Because Tilly wants it. Bullshit. I didn't look at her. Anymore. She wants it. Tell me she, she doesn't does. want it. Sure she does. Okay then. Case closed. I know that uh, Oscar out there. I'm sure he'd grab it for a little while too. Case closed. No. Yes. Okay, hey, you folks. Nice. This is one beautiful day. We're at about 75 degrees. Absolutely no humidity. Sun shining. This is the kind of days that make it, oh, I wish it was like this all the time. Today, my blade selection is going to be the 10 10 10 Turbo. <laughs> okay. This is so I can take some shorts. 10 degree with 10 tank and he's on Turbo Torch. Just cut the log up. <laughs>
got a finger, a uh, finger, got a splinter under my fingernail. About a half inch right there. It hurts. I gotta go pull it out. All right, guys, we went up to the house and we did an operation to get that splinter out. Make sure you catch the short on that. <laughs> Tim couldn't believe how long it was. I pulled it out. It was about that long. It was over a half inch long. Man, did that hurt. I guess. Couldn't get it out with tweezers. I had to use a pair of dykes. <laughs> Don't call me wire cutters, excuse me. <laughs> yeah, you can't so far this log has yielded uh, one, two, three, four pieces that look like to be clock faces. And then we got one long piece over here, but it's not. There's some bark on the other side, so we'll have to trim that. pieces out of this? Yeah. Let's see what we got tape measure wise. Alright, we got nine feet. We'll cut this one. That's my sawmill, so we're trying out the live and see. Let's use a real saw this time. <laughs> Thank you. 
Port Hudson Sawmill today. And uh, we're cutting up this cherry crotch. We've got a lot of beautiful wood on there. Let me show you what the grain on that. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? <laughs> All right, guys, as you can see, that one crooked cherry log yielded a lot of lumber. There's a lot of boards going in the box because of that crooked cherry. And it yielded some really pretty wood, too. All right, if you're not a subscriber to our channel, hit that subscription button. Put the thumbs up if you don't mind. And until the next one, we will catch you later.